Hello, good morning. This is your Daily Outlook for Wednesday the 8th of February. The euro emerged stronger against its major counterparts amid a plethora of pessimistic reports. We haven't had a breakthrough in the ongoing Greek tragedy with yet another postponement for the nation's leaders to answer Troika's latest austerity measure requests. Versus the US dollar, the single currency advanced to 132.47 from 131.18, recording its higher 2012 value. Against the Swiss franc, the euro rose to 120.87 from 120.62. This came after SMB's interim governor Jordan reiterated the determination of the nation's central bank to defend the 124 set on the euro Swiss. Versus the Australian dollar, the euro recorded an all-time low at 121.30, only to fight back and end the day with gains at 122.69 from 122.34. The US dollar was softer against a basket of currencies after the consumer credit figures came out better than expected. Yesterday, the Federal Reserve Chairman Bernanke testified on the state of the US economy before the Senate Budget Committee. He called for major changes in the US fiscal planning, labelling the federal deficit unsustainable. Furthermore, he defended the Fed's choice for low rates until 2014 and said that even though there aren't enough jobs to employ new entrants to the labour market, influential actions are still needed to lower the unemployment rate. The Australian dollar advanced to 107.93 from 107.18 versus the US dollar. The decision of the Reserve Bank of Australia to leave its lending rate untouched against the consensus of a 25 basis point cut saw the pair climb to a six-month high at 10809. Looking at commodities, we saw oil prices rose to $98.37 a barrel from $97.14. Against the US dollar, gold climbed to $1,744.94 from $1,790.95 an ounce. And versus the euro, the gold jumped to €1,316.26 from €1,310.15. Silver advanced to $34.08 from $33.63 an ounce. Now let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The pivot points at 132.05 with a preference to enter into long positions at 132.05. The dollar yen pivot point is at 76.70 with a preference to enter into long positions at 76.70. The Aussie dollar pivot point is at 107.50 with a preference to enter into long positions at 107.50. The sterling dollar pivot point is at 158.60 with a preference to enter into short positions at 158.60. And the dollar cap pivot point is at 0.9985 with a preference to enter into short positions at 0.9985. Looking at commodities, the oil pivot point is at 98, with a preference to enter into long positions at 98. The gold pivot point is at 1735, with a preference to enter into long positions at 1735. And the silver pivot point is at 3380, with a preference to enter into long positions at 3380. And of course, for up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. And on the calendar, the market movers are the Canadian housing starts in January forecast at 194,000. And the US crude oil inventories forecast to come out at $2.9 million. Now onto equities in Europe, they were mixed with the FTSE down 0.03%, the DAX down 0.16% and the CAC up 0.18%. In the US, they were positive with the SP500 up 0.20% and the Dow up 0.26%. In Asia, at the time of writing, the Nikkei was up 1.10% and the Hang Seng was up 1.23%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma and Joe from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click Join Now. Membership has its unique benefits such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.